Okay, it's time for a new pickups video. And as you can clearly see, it's of a pair of um, boots. Now, um, first of all, I want to apologize because I'm currently recovering from the flu. So I have a slight blocked up nose and a slight congested chest. <clears throat> so as you can see, if you hear me clear my throat, I, am, I do apologize. Um, I am recovering. I'm not over the worst of it, but um, I just wanted to film this because I, I actually want to wear these to test them, test them out because it's actually getting quite nippy and then it's raining as well. So I do want to really, 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 really try to try these um, boots out. Anyway, um, as you can see, these are a pair of black boots. Um, I've been looking for a pair of boots for quite a long time now. Now, in the past, I've loved wearing boots of various different colors and various different designs. Um, <clears throat> when I was much younger, I used to wear um, lots of Chelsea boots, which um, people may know what they are, and if you don't, look them up on Google. <clears throat> and what was really great about those shoes, about those particular kind of boots is they are more of a low cut um, boot, um, which you could wear with a suit if you really wanted to. Or just with a pair of jeans, they pretty much could go with anything. Obviously, the only thing, obviously, I wouldn't advise wearing them. They don't look really good with his it's with track suits. Um, but generally speaking, when I used to wear a lot of um, jeans and cargo um, trousers or pants, as you Americans call them, um, that's what I used to wear with um, Chelsea boots, and they used to look really good. And obviously, you hear in back in the sixties um, where they used to be more really prominent, where people in the fashion <coughs> with people wearing them. And I've had um, things like um, monkey, monkey boots, I think they call them. And Doc Martens, I've had them in the past. And uh, I've been on the lookout for um, a good pair of boots, mainly because, obviously, um, and I'm up now in the UK, it's winter. Obviously, the next month or two, it's going to be spring. So, the weather's going to be warmer. But um, it's been raining quite a lot in the UK. So, there's been a lot of rain and a bit of a lot of wind. And especially with the rain, it's been raining quite heavy and obviously any big puddles. Um, things like having a pair of boots will be um, very handy to sit there to wear. Now, <clears throat> most of the um, footwear I have are mostly trainers. I do have um, normal formal shoes, but the problem is obviously they're just normal shoes. And really better for you know if you're going out to going out somewhere or to a funeral which is what i've had to wear most of my formal shoes to <clears throat> but what you want is what the overall protection from your say from here from your toe all the way up to your ankle which is what i've um really want and you can see with this particular shoe yourself here it's got a good um height in it so it's called obviously your ankles will be protected especially with me i've got weak ankles anyway so you know that you're not only gonna, your feet are going to be kept warm, but also um, they're going to be protected from the elements. So that's why I got them. Now, I was a look, look after the boots, as I said. And there were lots of different designs of boots that I did like. Um, obviously varying from different prices um, and different colours, as I said. Um, black boots I love wearing. I've worn like tanned um, boots before. And I've even worn brown and even suede type boots before. So I like different kind of colours. So even if I'd got one in a brown colour, it wouldn't have bothered me so much. Or maybe I still might get one if they do have one in that colour. Maybe it's still a slightly different design. <clears throat> but I was in my local Asda George, as they call it, which um, I know in America, um, as it's part of, part, in, well, in the UK. I know Walmart own Asda, so... I don't know if I'd help our American, any of my American viewers there. But as to George, obviously, so a lot, lots of houseware. Obviously, as to some known for selling food, but as to George, tends to send um, so lots of houseware, and they do sell clothes in there, which I bought a few in there myself. Now, <clears throat> um, this particular um, boot itself was thirty pounds, which. Compared to the other places, like I've, saw, I've seen, like in Shoe Saver, where they had a, a similar kind of design, not exactly the same, it was about between 20 and 25 pounds. And I was almost debating just last week about, you know, I think I might just um, pick one up in Shoe Saver for, for around about that price because 
um, with the, the jacket, the bomber jacket that you would have seen me wear, um, see me review or unbox or whatever you want to call it. Um, um, there are several things I kind of wanted, like, for example, I do need to get some new trainers. So that's part of my bucket, uh, my list that I need to tick off. Um, um, I wanted to get a new, like, jacket, something completely different. All right, the bomber jacket, so I got that. Um, so the undergarments, bought some new ones, socks, all ticked off the list. New pyjamas ticked off the list. <clears throat> and the one of the last things that I wanted was um, a new pair of boots, as I said before, because of how the weather is. And as I said, <clears throat> um, I was ifing and biting. I thought, you know what, I might just swallow the pill and just get the one in shoe saver. So as I said, come back to go back to Asda George again. I was in my local Asda George and I support these were normally thirty pounds, but when I looked on the actual label and I can still show it because I haven't taken them off, you can see it says fifteen pounds. So that's more than half price. Which by the way, <coughs> did it even pay that? Now I did pay for as you can see and this is the George as the Georgia security label, which when I did pay for this um, and I walked out the store, it actually went off, and the security had to call me back, and I, and I thought, oh, here we go again, going to get accused of um, stealing something again, even though I haven't, and it's because that they didn't um, turn, turn off the tag on the security thing, so at least it was just that, and the, the, the guy was really nice about it. As I said, was £30, as you, see, as you can see, it was 15 but the full price, the final price I ended up paying was £11. And this is because um, Asda old, I had a gift out from Asda because I bought a pair of superhero socks from Asda the other day. And I think it was over four or five pairs of socks. And one of the socks, one of the pairs of socks was missing. Funnily enough, it was a Batman one. And I... Uh, messaged the Asda um, customer service email address, <coughs> Mommy. and I got and then they messaged me back saying to me, "I forgot this. I think I did this at first on Twitter. Uh, yeah, actually, I did this on Twitter." And what ended up happening was that I told what happened, showed them the receipt, just to hand and the items. <coughs> they said to me, um, "Give me your email address, and then we're going to email a gift voucher now." I thought what they were gonna just gonna do was give me like a, a couple of quid or two, just to balance that one sock. But they ended up giving me back the whole of the money back for this sock. So essentially, that, that range of socks I never paid for it. So, and what I was gonna do was use it that four pounds towards a game in the future. But the problem with them is that they've never got it. either. They they don't have new stock of games. But stop if they don't even have the Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, rebirth in there. They do have the Who Killed the um, the Justice League in there. Sorry, the Suicide Squad Who Killed the Justice League. This they have that in there, but not Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth, which is an odd reason. And sometimes when they have games down itself for ten or five pounds, um, they're displaying them, but they don't actually have them. So I thought, you know what? Um, let me just use it on something useful. So I used them on these um, boots, and luckily. Um, I archived the gift, the digital gift voucher in my on my phone. Lucky they've got Wi-Fi in there, so I was able to get into my Hotmart account, open it up. When almost says fifteen pounds, I said I've got a gift voucher. She scanned it, came out as eleven pounds for me. <clears throat> it's funny, um, it was an absolute bargain. So it's funny how things work out in the end in terms of um, the prices. In terms of um, obviously, it was thirty pound. Down to half price for 15 quid and then down to 11 pounds with the voucher. So even at 15 quid, I probably would still would have bought it at 15 to be to be fair. Um, because I think for 30 to half price, that I think that's a huge enough leap for me that makes it worthwhile. And this particular size I've got a size 10, which in the US would be a size 11. Um for my for some for me, because I'm, I'm only five six, I'm not really tall, and um, I do have big feet. So sometimes I can wear it, sometimes I have to wear a nine and a half, sometimes I wear a ten, but it also depends on the cut of the actual shoe or or the footwear itself, whether it's narrow or wide. So that's what I tend to kind of go for. <clears throat> so yeah, the te size ten would be perfect for me, even if it's a little bit big, it will be fine. But um they had a, I was luckily, as I said before, 
and they had other big, they had bigger sizes in there, um, which would, obviously wouldn't have fit me. And they had smaller sizes, so I was very lucky to kind of find um, these particular, that size um, for what I wanted. Um, if I probably went back, then this was, this would have been on Friday, <coughs> the eighth, as in today is the eleventh. So I would say I'm very unfortunate. Very lucky. If I was to go back there now, I pretty much would think that they're gone because all the popular sizes when it comes to um, clothes or, or footwear tend to sell out pretty. Pretty quickly. Unless you've got really, really, really massive feet, like a size 12 or 13, then I've noticed in trainer shops that, like I say, JDs, for example, that they tend not to sell out as much because obviously um, they're not very common. So as you can see, obviously they're both together. We'll cut this off in a while. As you can see, they're, um, they're obviously they're black and it's leather. Very well laced. The laces do have like... um. <clears throat> like a cloth leathery feel to them, so that's kind of really great. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if I can actually put these on. As you can see, the the grip at the bottom is actually very thick. Now, obviously, will give me a couple of few inches, so maybe a little bit taller. And as you can see at the bottom of there, um, it's got a good grip there. As you can see at the base, um, at, at the front and at the base of the heel. Very good grip and it's very textualized here with the rubber <coughs> here. So I do know that, I, um, that if I'm walking around and, and especially with the pavements or wherever surfaces that I'm on, that I'm not going to be um, slipping around the place. So it's going to have a good firm grip. <coughs> now on first inspection, as I thought, the shoe looks really short, um, really strong, should I say? Very well um, put together. Very, it looks um, very well. As if this is going to last, very strengthened. Um, doesn't seem to be any stitching across um, the shoe here, only across the leather parts of the actual shoe. And now what I've noticed on some shoes I've got on trainers is that when you have stitching across um, around the sole, what tends to happen is after a while that they get frayed and come undone, which ends up um, separating the actual main part of the shoe from the sole here. But we don't have that here. As I said, as again, as I said, this is fairly thick. I would say that this must be. I would say that this must be at least an inch, or maybe inch and a half, inch, an inch to an inch and a half thick. So that's really good. So it's going to be good hard wearing. At the base of here is rubber, which it means it's going to be really soft in terms of walking. My only main concern with the soles being rubber is the fact that is if you do all, if I'm going to be doing a lot of walking on there and with rubber. It's my only concern is that the fact that it may wear out pretty quickly because it's a lot softer because obviously it's rubber. I've I've had other shoes where the soles have been um, a lot harder, um, but they've been more hard wearing. But the trade off is that it's not quite as comfortable because obviously the sole is a lot softer. It's a lot harder on those shoes, whereas these these are gonna to me when it comes to walking are gonna be a lot softer, <coughs> but. My long-term worry is going to be the fact that because it's rubber, it's going to wear out, wear out a lot quicker. But, you know, these things kind of happen. So you kind of um, get what you pay for or, or in terms of the style and then the actual thing and figure of the actual shoe. Now, inside, um, is a little... I don't know what that is. You can't really see much because the inside of the sole... The inside of the sole is completely black. Now I'm going to put my hand in here to see what it's like. Obviously, the the, the, the main test is going to be on oh, that. It feels in the foot. <clears throat> now it does feel comfortable. It does feel it does feel very spongy, and especially at certain parts of your feet, where it <clears throat> it's around the arch of your foot. So that's around here. And obviously, uh, one of the things that really comes to protecting the feet that you have got to worry about is also your toes in a sense of there's enough room for your toes to move and that the fact that it's going to be well supported. So that's, um, you know, always concerned with all types of shoes, protection of your feet. Now, with me, I've got flat feet. So <clears throat> for me, it's even more of a, um, you know, that I have to have a very well comfortable um um, shoes from from the inside the actual sole at, at, at the back with your heel it's very spongy 
Now, <clears throat> it does feel very spongy, but to me, it could, uh, it could have been a little bit more comfortable. Now, what you can do, and my brother's done this, is where you can buy <clears throat> um, 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 soles, um, spongy soles that what you can do is that you can insert insert into a shoe. Obviously, as long as you've bought the right size to fit your shoe, and you put in, you would buy the um, the, the more spongy um, sole, which you can get from pretty much any shop, any shop really. And I don't know the price of them because they probably vary. And you can put it inside your shoe, and then you could, and then it gives you that extra comfort. So what I might do is that I might even um, buy an extra more comfortable sole um, to put inside of the boots so that I have that e that added extra comfort so I might keep a lookout for that so if I do do that um, you, I'll do a quick video on the, sh on the sole if, when I do buy those um, if I do buy those new um, comfortable soles and I'll put them in there and I'll show you um, how, how easy they are to fit in but as I said as long as you get the right ones <clears throat> they should fit as well the, the entire shoe boots I say is comp is um leather so that's kind of um great there and in the UK size it's a size 10 and in euro in the euro size this is a 44 you got the back of the the boots there and I do love how the back of when it goes down to your heel it's it's got a narrow kind of a look a narrow kind of a feel to it you got the little thing here so that you can pull up your shoe. So it's kind of great. Again, I can't smell really leather because my nose is slightly blocked, so I can't <coughs> smell any any of those. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the front runner. And I've already got black polish as well. So if I do need to kind of touch them up, if they get scuffed, then I can just buff them back up again. So that's not gonna be a problem. But yeah, I'm really pleased with this purchase at, <coughs> at half price. Even more so that I managed to get them for eleven, another four pounds off, so it's eleven pounds. So, <clears throat> so far of, of the of the year of twenty twenty four, this is probably been my best bargain of the year so far. So yeah, these are already as the boots. Um, so I hope people found this video informative. <clears throat> anyway, um, I hope people like this video. Again, as I said before, I do apologise for any coughing or any sniffing as I recover from the flu. So I do humbly apologise. Um, feel free to share with your friends and family and also if you can give this video um, a thumbs up I'd highly appreciate that that allow pe um, people old and um, old and new to find my YouTube channel or should I say new should I say and plus because the YouTube algorithm favoured the bigger YouTubers their videos are advertised on the YouTube recommendation page so this will allow me to find <coughs> new subscribers who may be interested in my channel so do you, um, f um, please give this video a thumbs up <coughs> sorry also if you already haven't consider subscribing to my youtube channel if you already haven't and just for christmas we hit um over 500 subs so i'm really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart so to the subs old and new and even people who haven't subbed my channel um a big thank you um i really appreciate that i didn't think i would get get this far especially starting off with 13 subs at the moment now we're currently um virtually on the cusp of 600 subs so um a big thank you to the new subscribers who over the coming over the last few weeks days and months who subscribed to my channel i really really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart it really really means a lot and i'm not just saying that especially with, especially with being a, um, a smaller youtuber it does i do really appreciate every individual that subscribes to my youtube channel because it just makes me want to push and work hardly even when there are times when you don't want to or you feel downhearted so a big thank you and the next um milestone will be a thousand subs so maybe we'll get there sooner rather than later so looking forward to that oh i did forget <clears throat> to cut um this stuff off we'll do that very quickly It's all off. Yeah, that's all off now. So that's a little bit neat. So now you can really show off and actually see the actual boots themselves. So they look kind of really nice, as you can see. Um, yeah, 
So there we are. See, nice good view. The rock boots look really cool. <clears throat> so that um just leads me to say um wherever um wherever in the world, please stay safe. And um, if you're not feeling very well, I'm wishing you um wishing that you um um might get um get wishing you um getting a lot better from whatever you may have, like what I have. And um let me just say please stay warm, please stay safe, and I'll speak to you again on the next video. Bye for now.